Well, hello there. I have now been in this apartment for a week and a half. I think it's been going well. I met a lot of other people that live here yesterday because I was doing laundry and the door to the laundry room stopped working and all of my laundry and my bedding was in there, just trapped. And the office, so like the manager and everyone, they are gone until Tuesday and yesterday was Friday. So yeah, I ended up meeting a lot of residents yesterday because we were trying to figure out how to get into the laundry room without having to call the emergency maintenance line. There's a lot of really cool people that live in this building and it was really fun to just like meet some of them and get to know them. I mean, it was unfortunate that all of our laundry was stuck and locked behind a door and all of us were kind of frustrated about it. But yeah, you know, we were working as a team trying to figure out if we could break the door down. We can't. <laughs> Anyway, so I originally was going to go on a trail today, but I am beyond tired, guys. Like, I feel like I'm trying to catch up on sleep and rest and just, like, chill time. So I didn't go on a trail today. I think I'm going to try to fit that in, like, this next week or next weekend. Again, still trying to figure out how to juggle the jobs and, like, when I have time to do things. Because I went from not having a job and having all the time in the world to do things to now I'm like, okay, now I have to, like, figure out when I'm going to go do certain things. But I figured for me to be able to get a good, like, video that I will be happy to put out for you guys, but also be able to just like have some downtime for myself. I figured I would just kind of show you guys a typical day here in my new place of just like spending the day at home. Here's to a day in the apartment and uh, to show you guys my space. Very, very excited for this. Also, it's a beautiful day outside. So the view for me is just like, it's great. currently writing down some things that I want to try to fit into my everyday life and then just kind of like weekly stuff. I feel like this is important for me to do because like I was saying earlier in this video, I need to readjust to having a nine to five job. Well, really I need to adjust to having like three different jobs because <laughs> it's very time consuming having multiple jobs as you can imagine or if you do the same thing, you know. I just kind of did a brain dump of just like what was coming to my mind first and foremost, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So remember my whole thing with being here in Seattle, I really wanna focus on like self growth and really learning more about who I am and trying to get a better idea as to what I wanna spend my time doing and like what is worth my time and energy, but also like trying to figure out career wise, like where do I see myself in the next couple of years? like 
how am I making money? Yeah, I, I really want to figure out a career. I think for a while I've been really struggling with that because I have a lot of different interests. If you guys are new here, I'm kind of stuck between two worlds right now of like being very creative and teaching dance and filming, but also being very much interested in you know, going back to EMT work and potentially becoming a paramedic. Yeah, wanted to preface all of that before reading my list. So first I have yoga and meditation. I just feel like that's such a great way to start your day and to reflect. I want to get back to reading my scriptures. I feel like it helps me to be a better human. Definitely work out every day. Want to take better care of myself. I always feel my best when I work out. I say work out every day, but really like obviously I'm going to have days where it's like more chill, like maybe just go for like a really long walk with Luna or you know something like that some type of hobby so I would love to be able to do this every day but this might be more of just like try to do it multiple times a week uh, there's a lot of new hobbies that I want to get into and I think if I mentally try to do it every day then it will end up being multiple times a week self-care so when I, when I put this I was thinking more just like on the relaxing side of things like it can be as simple as just taking time before I go to bed to just like watch my favorite TV show with like a cup of tea I and I'm thinking more so at the end of the day like do something relaxing that's just for me no stress I put paramedic coach because I want to go through his program I did that in preparation for EMT school but I only did the EMT portion of it so now I kind of want to do the whole thing EMT and paramedic because I feel like that will help me to figure out if that's the route for me. Every day I want to try to call a friend or family member. This is really hard for me. I'm not someone who calls people. I call my mom and I call Angel and that's all. Be creative. I don't know realistically if I can do this every day because doing creative stuff is time consuming. And then I put as weekly stuff, I would really like to do a video shoot once a week at least with like with like another person, like a dancer in the area or whatever. I just think it's it's a good way to meet people, but it also just, it keeps my, my creative brain going, you know? <laughs> I want to take dance classes every week. I kind of separated that from hobbies and working out because that is really, like, I chose the place that I'm living specifically because it's close to the dance studio where I want to be taking classes. And I've been telling myself for like a couple years now that I really want to get back into training and I just keep making excuses for why I'm not doing it. So that's why I separated that from those other things. And then I wrote, class pass I that was more just like a reminder to me to look into class pass so that I can go do other things like maybe take a yoga class from time to time or uh, try Pilates or maybe go to a, a climbing gym or something actually I don't know if they do class pass anyway that was more so a reminder for me so yeah that is the list so far that's just like immediately what I thought of yeah so now I'm just gonna kind of try to figure out like if I can create a routine. I'm not too much of a routine person, but I feel like I need to be organized since my time in the morning is very short before I go to work and like my time after work, it feels really short. <laughs> I feel like time flies after work. I need to try to have some sort of routine so that I can fit in the things that are important to me. We did a outfit change because it is time to work on some choreography. So let's do it. All right, I changed back out of those freaking sweaty clothes. I left my blinds open, which was really dumb of me because then it got really hot in here while I was dancing. Anyway, I am going to work on a video really quick. I filmed Delaney before I left LA and I told her it was gonna take a minute to get the video to her, but I decided that I will work on that for a little bit before I take Luna on a walk. So let's do it.
Well, that is my day here in my apartment. <laughs> I didn't really do anything too crazy, but I just am so glad that I was able to enjoy my space today. I really needed this. I needed a day to just be in my new place and not really have any type of commitments. Yeah, I'm really happy with today. I got to, weirdly, I got to enjoy like all little corners of my space today. So that made me really happy that each space seems to be functioning very well the way that I set it up. So obviously, again, how it's set up right now is temporary. So keep on the lookout for future videos where I'm getting more furniture. Man, I'm so excited for the vlog that I can show you guys the sofa that I get. I cannot wait to get a sofa. I've never bought a couch before, so that will be a new venture for me. But yeah, I'm enjoying the temporary setup that I have right now. I feel like I'm actually going to be kind of sad when... I do get a couch because I actually really like having my bed out here. <laughs> like sitting here with Luna is just the best, but I guess we can do that on the couch as well. Anyway, thank you so much guys for being here and just following my journey. I know there's not too many of you guys, but I really, really, really love the following I have. You guys are great. You're very supportive and encouraging. And it makes me really excited to post videos each week. And um, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys more of my life here in Seattle. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys next week. Bye.